it, guys. Uh, concepts, principles, and theories in nursing informatics. Basically, you will learn here concepts and theories. Now, many of us are wondering, why do we even need to study a theory? So, please be reminded that when you talk about theory, your theory class is the one that informs practice, and then your practice also informs research. Your theory also informs research. Now, I would refer to this as a triangle. So, this is how the relationship between theory, research, and practice is. So, class, it means that for us to practice nursing, we need to have a theoretical background. For us to practice research, there needs to be a theory. Okay? And then, class, vice versa. The, the, the relationship between them is a two-way relationship. Now, for that reason, we are learning this right now. And we're having a discussion of the topic on the concepts, principles, and theories in nursing informatics, by which I hope that you will be able to understand later on what are the major ideas no, that guide us in nursing informatics. Now, we will be talking about these theories as we go along. So you have your general systems theory, your change theory, you have your cybernetics theory, your cognitive learning theory, novice to expert theory, and then your DIKW model or theory. Now, in your level one, you've learned about theoretical foundations of nursing. Plus, this topic is actually a connection to your theoretical foundations of nursing or your TFN. So most of the theories here that we will be talking about may have been touched already in your nursing in app, in your TFN. Okay? It's just more of application in technology. Now, allow me to start by saying that nursing informatics is a science which also exhibits the characteristic of a system. If I would end there on the first part, if you would look at it, it says nursing informatics is a science. Since class nursing informatics is a science, it means that it is a certain field of discipline. Okay? Class, it is a specific field of discipline that entails one to conduct research and follow certain procedures. So we are guided by research and some procedures that we need to follow for us to be uh, considered as a science. So in other words, hindi pwede na I will just press something on the computer because feel ko lang, hindi pwede class that I will just do something to the patient because I just would want to do it. Instead, I would want to have a basis for that because it is a science. Okay? Now, it also class exhibit a characteristic of a system. So class, when I talk about nursing informatics, for example, in the hospital setting, nursing informatics class itself is considered to be a system. Okay, class, the nursing informatics itself is actually considered to be a system. Okay, kindly take note of that. Now, why is that relevant? The first theory that we will be talking about is your general systems theory. Many of the theories in nursing are actually based also in your general systems theory. Okay? So you have your behavioral systems model. If you can recall your behavioral systems model by Johnson. So another one, another is your change theory. Okay? They are actually all anchored in your general systems theory. If I'm not mistaken, the model or theory of Sister Calista Roy, the adaptation model by Sister Calista Roy, is also anchored on general systems theory. So class, nauna po yung general systems theory compared sa mga theories natin in nursing. No? So, when you talk about the general systems theory, this was actually developed by your biologist, Ludwig von Bertalanti, in 1936. Ano pong main message ng general systems theory? It has allowed scholars and scientists to make sense of a system characteristic such as, you know, okay, wag yung i-copy word for word, yung dyan po yan sa textbook natin. So it allows scholars and scientists to make sense of system characteristics. What are those system characteristics? One po, wholeness. Okay, wholeness. Second one po, differentiation. Third one, you have your order. Fourth one, you have your equifinality. Fifth one class is progression. So these are the characteristics of your systems. Okay, these are the characteristics of your systems. Now, if I would look at this, if I would look at the statement of your general systems theory, it tells us that with a common framework, your scientists could be better communicate their findings with each other and build upon each other's work. Alam nyo kasi dati, rati, yung ginagawa ng mga scientists is that parang solo flight sila. For example, if Minita is a scientist, Hana is a scientist, Sean is a scientist, 
they would do their work individually and bahala sila sa kanika nilang mga buhay. Wala silang pakialam kahit yung research nila magkapareho. Kasi for example, Lilita is another country. Kay Audrey is another country. Sean is another country. So wala silang pakialam. But with the emergence of Bertal and Fee's general system theory, okay, there started to be a harmonization of research findings across the globe. Now, when you talk about the general systems theory, it includes the purpose, the content, and the process of breaking down the whole and analyzing the parts. Okay? Ibig sabihin, plus, if you're looking at a system, no? if you're looking at a system, your general system theory tells you that a system has several subcomponents. Okay, ang isang system po merong several subcomponents. And for us to understand those several components class, we need to break down the whole and analyze. We need to break down the whole and analyze the parts. Okay? Now, paano po natin yan i-apply? For example, if we're dealing with a computer system, since we are talking about nursing informatics, if I'm dealing class about a computer system and that the computer system is not functioning properly, ano po yung mga parts na dapat ko pong i-check? If I'm talking about computer system, tapos for example, no, pumunta ka sa nurse station, hindi gumagana itong particular computer, what are the things that you will check? Sige nga. You can have the chat or you can unmute your microphone. If hindi po gumagana ang computer natin, ano po yung iti-check natin? Anybody? Sige na. Yes, Ninita. Uh, I think, sir, the motherboard, sir, surely. Case. Motherboard? Okay. Uh, Kaagad-agad, dumiretso ka kaagad sa motherboard. Excited? Okay lang, Ninita. Trisha, yes, Trisha. Ang other, sis, ang other parts sa um, computer, sir. Mm -hmm. Other parts of the computer. Ito si Andrea, i-check daw if naka-plug in. Okay? Which in fact, no, those are actually considered to be parts of the computer. So, what does it tell us, no? If we're talking about the computer system, if it's not functioning, we need to check the plug. If, it's the, if the plug is not functioning, you need to check the switch. If the switch is not functioning, you might need to check other hardware and other peripherals. Okay? Ibig sabihin po, computer as a system, we're looking at it as a big, as a, as a system. Pero once nasira po siya, once you would want to understand the computer and understand its specific contents, ano, kay class, ano po yung gagawin natin? Isi-separate po natin siya. Okay? Isi-separate po natin siya para ma-analyze po natin siya. Okay? Now, system is made up of separate subcomponents. Tandaan po natin yan. And the parts rely to one another, interrelated, and share a common purpose. Now, in the words na to, they rely on one another. Okay? The parts must rely on one another. Pagkatapos plus they are interrelated. Pagkatapos plus they share a common purpose and together they form a whole. Okay? Now, going back plus now, so when we talk about a system, we are being reminded that the parts rely on one another. Now, let's think of a system. Anybody with your background knowledge now, give me, an, give me a system related to nursing. What can you think of as a system? Pag sinabi natin system, anything that has several parts, eh? okay? Can you give me an example of a system? Sige na, anybody? Oh, sige, Jiza, go ahead. Circulatory system, sir. Okay, circulatory system. Okay, what else? Nervous system, sir. Nervous system. Sige, mga, mga anatomical systems talaga yung naiisip ng mga brilliant students. <laughs> okay, sige. Those are all systems, ha? Okay, I, I agree with that. But when you talk about the system, no? Okay, hindi po tayo system lang na cardiovascular system, nervous system, kaya lymphatic system, endocrine system. Yes, they are systems. But when we talk here about systems in the general system theory, it talks about everything that we can actually entangle on. Politics, for example, is one. Your nurse's station is also a system. Your computer is also a system. Your home is also a system. Okay? Kung baga, lahat na lang, sir, system. O, parang ganun, di ba? Okay? So, parang binigyan lang tayo ni Berta Lanti ng sakit ng hood. Okay? But anyway, here are the main points no, that he would want us to understand. 
Now, let's take, for example, the circulatory system. Okay? Or let's take, for example, the human body as a system. If you would look at class the human body as a system, our organs actually rely on one another. Di ba pag titingnan natin, hindi naman pwede class na yung heart mo healthy, pero yung brain mo hindi. Okay? Because the parts of the system are actually relying on one another. They are considered to be interrelated. Okay? They are considered to be interrelated. And then class, they share a common purpose. So for example, pag nakikita po natin, when we talk about interrelated, if you will see that there is a problem in the heart, di ba class, pag magka-problema tayo sa heart, other parts of the body are also affected. For example, pag, pag nag-decrease po ang functioning ng heart natin, pag nag-decrease po ang functioning ng heart natin, ano po yung mararamdaman ko kay brain? Sige nga. Let's say, for example, mahina yung pag-pump ni heart, ano po yung mangyayari kay brain, guys? What would be the usual complaint of your patient? Yes, Ivani? Um, okay, um, maybe ang possible outcome uh, is seizure, sir. Seizure, okay. Seizure could be possible. Okay, yes. medyo malala na yung iniisip mo, Ivani, pero okay, we could consider that. You can actually start by talking about dizziness. Diba? Nag-dizziness po tayo nagla-lightheadedness po tayo. And yes, now in more severe forms, you will have your seizure. Okay? So, kadalasan, di ba? Kadalasan, plus your patient with heart problems would complain na, nurse, parang nahihilo ako. Because, plus, the problem is the heart is already being reflected to the brain. Or, for example, right now, it's very hot. When it's very hot, plus, a lot of perspiration is going out because it would want to release heat from our body. With that class, no, the amount of fluids in our body is decrease. Pag decrease ang amount ng fluid sa body natin, what would happen to our circulation? Is our circulation class increased or decreased? Yes. Decrease. Again, again? Decreased, ano? So decrease din ang circulation natin. So class, it simply shows that in a system, everything is interrelated. Tapos we share a common purpose. O halimbawa, Ano po yung common purpose ng mga systems ng katawan natin, di ba? Survival. The common purpose of the system, the common goal of the system of our body is survival. Okay? And together class, it forms a whole. Okay? Together class, it forms a whole. Tandaan po natin yan. Now, if I would apply it, for example, in an informatics perspective class, no? Pag titingnan po natin yan in an informatics perspective, okay? Take na lang natin, for example, your nursing clinical systems. Okay? Or sabi natin yung clinical nursing information systems. You have what we refer to as your CNIS. Plus, your CNIS is your clinical nursing information systems. Plus, ano po yung sa clinical nursing information systems? Di ba dyan ka nag i no? For example, magre-request ka ng gamot. Dyan ka magre-request. Now, Plus, that in itself, di ba pangalan niya is Clinical Nursing Information System. Okay, obvious naman, di ba, system siya. Now, that in itself, class, needs the following. Kailangan po natin ng hardware. Kailangan po natin ng software para po gagana ang system na yan. Now, give me an example of a hardware. Give me an example of a hardware, my dear students, for the computers. Ano po yung example ng hardware? Yes, yes. Anybody? Computer. Again, Andrea? Mouse, sir. Okay, mouse. No? Tama, mouse. Other than the mouse, ano pa po mga hardware na kakailanganin natin? Yes, Sean. What else? Motherboard. Okay, motherboard, which is part of your CPU. Very good. What else, Kate? Monitor, sir. Monitor, yes. So, class, these are examples of your hardware, di ba? So, pag sinabi kong nursing information systems, hindi porket class may software ka, okay ka na. So, para sa ano yung software kung wala kang keyboard, di ba? Para sa ano pa yung software kung hindi mo naman magagamit. So, class, if you can notice also, in that nursing information systems, you will see interrelatedness. O halimbawa, nag encode ka kasi kailangan ng pasyente mo ng gamot. Plus, pag kailangan po ng pasyente natin ng gamot, i-request po natin yan kay pharmacy. By the time plus that we will be requesting it to the pharmacy, the pharmacy will be the one to check it, and then the pharmacy will be the one to release it. So, plus, hindi naman po po pwede in the hospital setting, hindi naman po po pwede in the hospital setting na nursing unit lang. Kaya hindi po natin pwedeng sabihin na ah, kami nurses, 
kami po ay nurses na magagaling. So with that po, okay na po lahat. So hindi po ganon. It does not work like that. Because class, we are interrelated to one another. Okay. Why am I giving you that as an example? Kadalasan kasi sa hospital, nag-aaway-aaway yung mga departments. Halimbawa, hindi nabigyan ng pagkain si patient A. Anong gagawin class ng mga nurses? Sasabihan yung dietary. Ay, nakalimutan yung magbigay ng pagkain kay patient A. Si dietary tapos magdadahilan. In nurses, hindi nyo naman kami in-inform na may patient A. So, anong nangyayari? Nag-aaway-aaway. So, class, isipin nyo na lang lahat po tayo sa hospital interrelated wag po kayong magsisihan. Ha? Huwag kayong magsisihan. Do not blame one another. Because your common purpose in your hospital setup is that you would want to have the recovery of your patient. Okay? Again, ha? if I'm talking about your clinical nursing information systems, your main goal is the recovery of your patient. And then plus, as a whole, no? as a whole, yun po yung main, yun po yung main function natin to the recovery of your patient. Now, if you would look at just the general systems theory, I, I think you've heard this even way back in senior high school, even before you had the theoretical foundations of nursing. Plus, tingnan nyo yung, tingnan nyo yung main model niya. Input, output, at saka yung throughput. I, I don't know kung narinig nyo to, pero high school pa lang, kadalasan na-introduce na. Input, and then you also have your throughput, and then you also have your output. Now, let's first talk about the term input. Plus, when we talk about the term input, class, the term input is the information that is being entered to the system. Pag sinabi po natin input, yan po yung information na pinapasok sa system. Okay? Pag sinabi ko namang output, class, yan po yung end product natin. Yan po yung end product natin. And then, class, may tinatawag tayong feedback. Ano? Mamaya na natin pag-usapan yung feedback. Now, let's say, for example, I'm giving a medication to my patient. Okay? Give me a medication that you know of. Anybody? Drop a name of a medication on chat that you know of. Okay, nakatulala po tayo sa screen. Tayo po ay nakapag-pharmacology na. Bigyan niyo po ako ng medication. Yes, Faith? I'm Lodipin, sir. Amlodipine. Okay, somebody is talking about amlodipine and then somebody chat about losartan. They have the same function. What is their function po? Ano pong function ng amlodipine at saka ng losartan? Students. Okay. Yes, Faith. Ang losartan, sir, anti-angina. Ang amlodipine is ano, calcium channel blocker, sir. Okay. That's mm -hmm. yes. hypertension. Okay. So, plus both losartan actually and amlodipine are considered to be anti-hypertensive drugs. Okay, plus amlodipine and then your losartan are both anti-hypertensive drugs. Now, little pharma muna tayo. Pag sinabi ko plus na amlodipine, it ends with dipine, so they are considered to be calcium channel blockers. Okay, class, lahat pong drugs na nang e end po ng dipin are considered to be calcium channel blockers. Now, other example, you have your lifidipin. You have class your nicardipin. You also have class your philodipin. At saka mga hindi ko na alam dipin. Okay, so class yan yung mga dipin, dipin. May dalawang exception lang po akong nakilala. Yun po ay si verapamine at saka si bilkezem. Okay, verapamine and diltiazem are also calcium channel blockers, but then hindi po sila dipin. So, huwag din ang pilitin, okay? Nabuhay po silang ganyan ang pangalan, huwag na natin tanungin. Basta calcium channel blockers din sila. Now, somebody has talked about losartan. Your losartan is another classification. Let me check if it is an angiotensin receptor antagonist. Ha? Let me confirm. When you talk about um, losartan, Itingnan ko lang kapag angiotensin receptor antagonist siya. Okay, tama. So, class, when you talk about losartan, your losartan, yun naman, class, ay mga sartan family, ano? They are considered to be ARBs. Tinatawag po natin sila sa pharma na ARBs. So, they are considered to be angiotensin receptor blockers. Okay, angiotensin receptor blockers. Now, class, if you recall nyo po yung discussion nyo sa pharma, Ano po yung ginagawa ni angiotensin sa blood pressure natin? Increase or decrease? Sige guys, ha? call nyo na lang attention ko pag buhay pa kayo. 
Okay, faith. Go ahead, faith. Okay, increase, sir. Okay, class, no? the role of angiotensin is pinapa-increase niya po yung blood pressure natin. Kaso, class, ito yung receptor blockers. So, ano naman po ginagawa ni receptor blockers? Pinapa-decrease po niyang BP. Okay? So, kapag si mother po natin, si father po natin high blood, kasi galit na galit sa inyo, make sure lang, class, na natake po yung maintenance na losartan at saka amlodipin. Okay? Now, let's go back to the concept that we are talking about. Plus, I gave amlodipine losartan to my patient because I would want to control the BP of my patient. I would want to control the BP of my patient. What is my in? What is my input? Okay, ang situation plus na binibigay ko sa inyo ha. I gave amlodipine plus losartan to my patient to decrease the BP of my patient. What is considered to be an input? Ano po yung input natin? Yes? Yes, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. Ano po yung input? Ang tanggulong, sir, nga ang amlodipine pag nasartan. Very good. So, in that case, your input are your medications. And what will be considered to be the output? What will be considered to be the output? That will be class the decreased BP of your patient. That will be the decreased BP of your patient. Okay? So, class, when you talk about input, throughput, and output, actually, there are really a lot of applications for that. Now, let's point, for example, that you are using the computer no, to type. Let's say, for example, you're using the computer to type. Class, let's say, for example, you would want to search about the purpose of lithimazone. Okay? You would want to search Google for the purpose of lithimazone. What is your input? Nagta-type ka. Ano po yung input natin? Sige nga, anybody? Who can give me an idea? Ano po yung possible input? Yes? Go ahead. Okay? Yung mga nahihiya. Yes, Kiara. What will be the input? I would want to know what is the action of methimazone. What's my input? Doon ako sa Google. You use keywords, sir. Like, what is the input? Uh, what is the... Uh... Um, ano ganyan na ubra sa metamazone. So, use keywords Sige, ben. words kaya, sa Google. Kaya ni ano? Kaya ni Google yung ano ang naubra ni metamazone? Sure ka? Kaya na ni Google yung hiligay nun? <laughs> kidding aside, Kiara. Kidding aside. But you got a very good word there. That will be keywords. So, your keywords class will be your input. Pagkatapos, ano po yung magiging output? Yes, Ira. You want to say something? Ira or Ira? Okay, hindi na ko ba yun? Ah, yeah. Ah, maka-lower, maka-lower function sa hyperthyroidism. Okay, so the output will be, you will be able to get an information about that medication and you would know that methimazole would decrease the functioning of your thyroid gland. Yeah, diba? So, class, no? Kung nakikita ninyo, napakarami talaga ng mga ng mga input-output in our case. So, for example, if I'm using the system class, your input is actually your request. No? For example, I requested for the drug. That's how kasi a nursing informatics system work. No? I would request for a drug in the system. Pagkatapos class, ibibigay sa akin ni pharmacy yung drug. No? Ibibigay sa akin ni pharmacy ang drug. So, pharmacy releases the medication. That would be the output. Okay? That would be the output. Now, Anything that happens, anything that happens in between input and output is actually considered to be your throughput. Okay? Anything that happens between your input and output is considered to be a throughput. So, for example, pag request ko class sa computer, di ba kung, kung tayo, parang kita natin, yay, request arrived. Pero actually, doon sa computer, marami pa yung dinaanan, encoding, transcribing, kung saan-saan pa yan, nagpunta, punta, punta hanggang class na ma-receive ng pharmacy. Okay, so that process, when you talk about the throughput class, it usually pertains to the process that converts your input going towards your output. Anyway, we will have a definition of that on the succeeding slide. Now, what are class the assumptions of this theory? All of the systems that we have must be goal-directed. Okay? Ibig sabihin class, mahirap naman na maging system na wala kang goal sa buhay, di ba? Now, for example, let me go back to your clinical nursing information system. What its goal? Plus, the goal of your clinical nursing information system primarily is to deliver safe and quality nursing care. 
Okay, yan po yung isang goal niya. Isang goal din po niyan is to make care effective and efficient. That's the goal of your clinical information systems or clinical nursing information systems. Now, for example, sinabi ko na I have a system. Halimbawa, sabihin ko sa inyo, you know what guys, I have a time management system. Tapos palagi na lang ako late sa klase. Palaging late na lang yung requirements. Hindi naman ako nakakapag-date. Pag ganun yung mga hugot, guys, is the system becoming effective? Is the system becoming effective if ganun? Hindi. Okay? Because plus all systems must be goal-directed. So when we talk about the systems that we are making in the hospital in the hospital setting, dapat plus we are asking, what is the goal of the system? Okay? What is the goal of the system? Now look at the second bullet there. It says, a system is more than the sum of its parts. Who's the theorist in nursing who said that? Who's the theorist in nursing who also adopted that? Have you recalled that? Diba? In, in nursing theories, sila sabi natin that the system is more than the sum of its parts. Have you heard that? Okay. Wala na lang, sir. Wala na din kasi, kasi hindi naman namin kilala, diba? So it's safe for us to say, oh, really, Aristotle? Okay, I'm not so sure, Pat, ha? I'm not so sure. Pero nursing theories, sige, hindi ako sure kung si Tito Aristotle nasabi yan. Ang alam ko lang nasabi ni Aristotle, the shortest answers daw yes and no are the most difficult ones to think of. O, diba? Diyan kami friends ni Aristotle. Pero kasi sa system is more than the sum of its parts, hindi, hindi siguro ako na-orient ni Aristotle ng ganan. But anyway, nursing theories, who told us about it? There's a particular nursing theory who emphasized that a system is more than the sum of its parts. No? Okay, or, or they actually said that the human being is more than the sum of its parts. Okay? Plus, actually, who's the theories for the unitary human being? Okay? Let me do also a little search. Baka po mali po yung iniisip ko at baka mamaya iba po siya. Okay, tama. So, plus, sino po yung unitary human being? Okay? Bisitahin niyo later ha, your tita Martha Rogers. Okay? Bisitahin niyo po si Martha Rogers. Plus, Martha Rogers, on her theory on the unitary human being, actually expounded that a system is more than the sum of its parts. What do I mean by that? If I'm looking at the computer, di ba class computer, naka-enumerate tayo ng parts kanina, di ba? Si mouse, may naka-mention pa nga, motherboard, na-add ko, keyboard, monitor. When I talk about the computer, computer is not motherboard plus mouse plus keyboard plus monitor. It's more than that. Okay? It's more than that. Di ba? Now, pag titignan nyo, mouse, click, click. Keyboard, type, type. Tapos, motherboard. Motherboard is just a green thing there with all the microchips there. But when you combine them, they are able to do something even more than what you expect them to do. Okay, it's not just about clicking, typing, okay? So it's more than that because a system is more than the sum of its parts. Now, saan pa po natin uh, apply ang concept na yan? Familiar po ba kayo ng amputation? Are you familiar class of what amputation is? Sige, familiar daw sila. So sa mga nakakain lang, tingnan po natin kung ano po yung amputation. Talilo talaga ni Google, no? Kahit wrong spelling si Sir Caring Care ni Google, yung mga gano'n. Okay, so masarap po yan lutuin, di ba? Okay, class, so amputation, no? So amputation. There could be traumatic amputation. There could be class amputation na sinadya talaga. Pag sinabi ko class na traumatic amputation, ibig sabihin na accident si patient kung kaya po na-cut yung isang part ng body. Okay? Or pwede din naman po meron tayong surgical amputation Halimbawa, may diabetes itong pasyente natin, tapos may mga necrotic tissues na. So, plus, we do what we refer to as your surgical amputation. Now, plus, that concept actually, the best example that we can give is amputation. Bakit po? If the human being is just equal the sum of its parts, by the time po, by the time na nakat na yung isang body part, it's just like that we're saying that we're not human anymore. Okay? Again, ha? If you're believing on the line that the human being is the sum of its parts, by the time one part is gone, you're not human anymore. Okay? Yun yun. Pero class, what we believe in nursing and what we advance in nursing is that a human being or any system is actually more than the sum of its parts. Okay? More than tayo the sum of its parts. So kahit pa na maputulan ng isang part ng body yung pasyente mo, human pa rin siyang consider. 
Because what makes him human is not the leg that was lost. Okay? So kung mga hugot nyo naman sa love life, di ba nung first break up, parang yung feeling, alo, hindi ko na kayang mabuhay nang wala siya. Okay? So plus the theories tells you otherwise. Ha? The theories tell you otherwise. Now, a system is also considered to be ever-changing and any change in one part could also affect the whole. Okay? Tingnan nyo yan. A system is considered to be ever-changing. When I say ever-changing, what's the word for that? What's the D word for that? Nagsisimula sa letter D. Palagi daw nag-change. What is that word? Sige na. Okay, in moment of silence, let us pray. What is that word, class, that says a system is ever-changing? Ano po yan? A system is considered to be? Sige, magkula-hula tayo. One, two, three. Na-count ako gan, isang number of letters mo. <laughs> okay, so very good. A system is considered to be dynamic. Okay, class, your system is considered to be dynamic. Okay, it's ever-changing. And then class, you need to acknowledge that any change in one part affects the whole. Uh, for example, dun on the amputation, di ba class, sabi natin, even if it was amputated, it does not make our patient less human. However, class, however, we need to acknowledge that that amputation would affect also the life of our patient. Okay? Plus, no, for example, no, iiniiyak, umiiyak siya sa'yo. Sabi, nurse, oh, natanggal na yung, natanggal na yung, ano ko, yung leg ko. I feel hindi na po ako human. Don't tell your patient na, sir, hindi po ganyan. According po to Martha Rogers, plus, wag, wag kayong ganun sa pasyente nyo. Ha? Okay? You need to listen to your patient. And you need to acknowledge that it will affect them. Okay? Plus ganito, if you're talking to your patients, you do not argue with your patients. So, alimbawa, pag sinabi ng pasyente mo, nurse, feeling ko ang pangit ko. Okay lang yan, class. Let, let, him, let him feel that way. Okay? okay? Sa kanya na yan, pag feeling niya, pangit siya. Pero on the serious note, ha? for example, if your patient will say, alam mo, nurse, ang pangit ko. Don't tell your patient na, no, you are maganda. You are guapo. No, don't be like that. Okay? Just tell your patient, Sir, I understand what you feel. Or, Sir, what made you say na pangit ka? Okay? You never argue with your patients or you never contradict with your patients. In the same way here, class, when we are learning the system, you know, class, that that change on one part will affect the other parts. Uh, for example, sa computer, since you mentioned the motherboard, once plus the motherboard is not functioning, Kahit po 10,000 pesos pa yung keyboard mo, may magagawa ba si keyboard mo if the motherboard is not functioning? Wala. Okay? Di ba? Because your computer would have no brain to process it. Okay? Walang mangyayari kahit yung mouse mo class, yung pinaka-high-end pa na Logitech mouse, wala po siyang magagawa. Because class, the change in any part of the system would affect the whole. And class, boundaries are considered to be implicit. And human systems are considered to be dynamic. So, class, when we talk about when we talk about um a system, we need to acknowledge that a system would have boundaries. No? Okay, ang system po talaga may boundaries po yan. Okay, so class, pag sinabi po nating implicit, ibig sabihin class the boundaries are indirect. Okay, class, the boundaries are not plainly expressed. So, kung baga, hindi po clear ang boundaries niyan, no? Hindi po yan clear. But from time to time, we set limitations on it. So, sir, bakit po implicit? So, implicit, kasi class implicit, parang implied siya, pero hindi po siya natin nakikita. It's not plainly expressed. So, what do we do? Since class, the boundaries of the system is not plainly expressed, we set aside or we make, I mean, sorry, we make their policies and guidelines to make it clear. Okay, we set their policies and guidelines to make it clear. Now, let's point this for example. Di ba may computer information systems na tayo? Halimbawa, class, nakikita ko yung x-ray mo dito in my computer. Okay? Now, class, if I can see your x-ray here in my computer, I can actually tell my friend. No? Halimbawa, magkasabay kami ng duty ni Trisha. Sasabihan ko si Trisha, Oy, Trisha, kita mo yung x-ray niya. Okay? Ito yung pagmumuka ng x-ray niya. Okay? Di ba ang dumi? Class, what principle of ethics yung nalabag ko doon? What principle of ethics ang nalabag ko if I will be sharing the x-ray images to other nurses who are not related to the care of the patient? Yes, Mark, you're about to say something. Confidentiality. Okay, confidentiality. Yes, Ivani. I think Ivani was about to say something. 
Yes, what was that? Confidentiality. Okay, and Marniel. Yes, Marniel. Confidentiality. Okay. So, plus po nakikita nyo, kahit gano'n man kagaling yung system, no? kahit kung gano'n man kagaling yung system, it does not assure us or it does not ensure us na hindi po natin yun masispread or hindi natin masispread ng information. Kasi once you have the access of technology, eh, paano pong gagawin natin? Mababasa lang naman yan lahat dito, di ba? So, plus, for that reason, no, we say that a system does not have clear boundaries. And then, plus, the boundaries of the system may be implicit. So, sino pong nag-a-address niyan? It is our policies and guidelines that will be able to address it. So, ano pong ibig sabihin ng policies and guidelines? Nurses class will be reminded. No? Nurses class will be reminded. You are not supposed to share information beyond patient care. You are not supposed to discuss these things outside the hospital setting. Okay? That's what makes the boundaries. Yes. Now, plus, pag tingnan nyo naman yung next bullet po na nakasaad dyan, it says that Bound, human systems are said to be open and dynamic. Okay? Plus, it goes with the saying na no man is an island. Diba? No man is an island. Kahit ano po po yung gawin ninyo, no? kahit ano po po yung gawin niya sabi niyo, kaya ko to, kaya ko maging alone, kaya ko po talaga. Kaya mo maging alone, pero pumupunta ka ng grocery para bibili ng pagkain. Kaya mo maging alone, pero kumukuha ka ng tubig sa labas para uminom. Plus, that simply tells you that you are not, you cannot be alone. Okay? Because the human system is considered to be open and dynamic. Now, let's look into some concepts and definitions related to this theory. Input. So, plus, pag sinabi kong input, siguro ang keyword natin na pwedeng i-pick up is energy and raw material. Okay? You pick up the word energy and raw material, which is later on transformed by the system. Now, ano pong example na binibigay natin dyan? Information, money, energy, time, effort, raw material of some kind. In our case as nurses class, if we're talking about your information systems, okay, class, in our case as nurses, if you're talking about information system, this could refer to the data being given by your patient. Okay? Plus, this could also refer to the medications that you give to your patient. Now, allow me to focus na lang dito sa data. Plus, pag sinabi kong data, di ba kung if you have been in the hospital, usually tinatanong ka, uh, patient, ano po yung complete name? Ano po yung edad? Okay? Ano po yung sex? Tinatanong na po kasi ngayon yung sex kasi marami na pong lalaking magaganda at saka marami na rin lalaki, babaeng matitipuno, di ba? Okay? So, no gender bias. Ha? But um, other than that, your religion is also asked, di ba? Your allergies are also asked. These are considered to be inputs. These are considered to be inputs. Now, if you would look at the throughput class, as I mentioned earlier, pag sinabi natin throughput, dear students, it is the process used by the system to convert the raw materials into products. Okay? So ano po yung nangyayari? Parang ganito. Input, raw. Throughput, yung process. Output po, magiging product. Okay? So, plus input, raw, process, puntang product. Now, in our case naman, when you have the data, di ba? When you have the data, what do you do? You do the thinking, you do the planning, you do the decision making. Halimbawa, a patient would come into you, give me an example of a chief complaint. Maliban sa fever po, give me an example of a chief complaint. Kasi for the past days, parang fever na lang palagi yung example ko. Okay? Give me an example of a chief complaint. Anybody on chat? Okay, Melrose. Yes, Melrose. Sakyan, sir. And, okay, stomach ache. No? Stomach ache. So, plus, sakit ng tiyan. So, plus, pag sinabi natin our patient is having stomach ache, that's the data. Diba? Now, you are thinking. If you are thinking, class, you would know that, oops, masakit yung tiyan niya. Ano po yung mga dapat kong gawin? So, you know that you need to assess further, di ba? Pag masakit po yung tiyan ng pasyente, ano pa pong ibang questions na pwede nating ask? Let's say, for example, the patient came in for stomach pain. What are the other questions that we need to ask? Yes, Kate? Kung when nag-start, sir. When should daw nag-start? She is talking about when daw nag-start. Ano ba yun? Mm, sige. Mm, what else? Sige, what else? Maliban dyan. Yes, Jiza. Ang um, anagin ka on niya, sir. Okay. We're talking about the precipitating factors, kung ano po yung kinain niya. 
when daw nag-start, so pwede po yung ma-capture under duration. What else? Yes, Melrose? Pain level, sir. Pain level. So we're talking about the pain rating scale of our patient. What else? Yes, uh, Kiara. What time shall usually the sakit, sir, or kung garage ang sakit sa ibang na body parts? Sige, lagay ko muna dito, pain rating scale. Pagkatapos, what time siya usually, papasok na yan sa duration. Tapos, if nag-raradjate sa ibang body parts, that would be the location. Very good. What else? Sige, apply natin yung cold spa na nalaman yung self-assessment. Kiara, go ahead, Kiara. Tapos na ka, sir. Okay. Yes, Tresha. Severity, sir. Severity. So, yeah, your severity actually dyan po pala papasok yung pain rating scale, ano? Okay, thank you for reminding me on that, Tricia. Yes, others? Sino pa po? Mark. Yes, Mark. Uh, associated factors. Okay, so you have also your associated factors, di ba? What's the letter C here, guys? Bakit parang wala nagsasabi ng letter C? Ano po yung letters? Okay, very good. That will be your characteristics, okay? So, that character, I mean, that would be your character. Now, if you are a nurse, di ba, nag-collect ka ng data, sabi tapos ni patient, yung pain parang sinuntok. That's the character. Nag-start pa siya last week. Tapos yung pain daw nasa stomach. Tapos daw nag-spread papuntang likod. Tapos yung duration daw, about 2 hours after meals. Tapos 10 out of 10 talaga. Pagkakain daw siya ng chocolate, or hindi po kaya kapag ma-stress siya sa asawa niya, nagsasakit po yung tiyan niya. Tsaka associated factors po is that, in the associated factors, no, um, sinasabi niya na kapag mag-take siya daw ng omeprazole, nagiging okay siya. So plus, you have all that information there. As a nurse class, you would be doing the thinking, the planning, the decision making, and then the sorting of information, and then the making of the plan. Plus, if I am the nurse, what do you call that process that I will use in order to analyze this data? What do you call that process that I will be using in order to analyze the data? Yes, Trisha, are you about to answer? Or kanina pa to? Management, sir. Ah, uh, management. Yes. What else? What do you call that process being employed by the nurse? What do you call that process being employed by the nurse class? in order to analyze this information. Yes, Melrose? Nursing assessment, sir. Uh -huh. Nursing assessment. Malapit na. Malapit na sa inanap kong word. Yes, Hana. Nursing intervention, sir. Nursing intervention. Sige, ubusin nyo lahat. Yes, Faith. Nursing diagnosis. Uh -huh. Sige, sige. Ubusin nyo talaga lahat. What else? Yes, <laughs> Jodiril. Jodiril, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> Ah, ano daw? Yes, Trisha? Nursing evaluation, sir. <laughs> Nursing evaluation. Oh, ayan, may nagsabi na ng ADPI. What's the collective term, term for your ADPI? What's the collective term for your ADPI? Yes, Ninita? Nursing process, sir. Okay, so class, no? If you would look at the throughput, actually, when we are assessing the patient and we are dealing with the patient, we have your nursing process. Okay, we have your nursing process. And after all of that class, the product that would happen, you know, the product that we would have is a document. It's a decision which is actually already your nursing. Ano po yung magiging produkto ng nursing process? That will be your nursing. Sige na, anong nangyayari after the nursing process? Nursing yes, diagnosis. Ibanin. Ah, nursing diagnosis, that's part of it. Yes, Andrea. Nursing intervention, sir. Nursing intervention, that's part of it. What's the collective term naman? Nursing care plan, sir. Very good. No? Very good. You would be able to formulate your nursing care plan. Okay? So, plus, diba, if you would look at the systems theory, actually, we have been doing it. We are being taught it. No? Kaso hindi lang natin na-realize that those were anchored already on the systems theory by Bertalanti. Okay, kasi class, it's a very old theory and a lot of knowledge is actually anchored in it. No? A lot of knowledge is actually anchored in it. Now, since we're talking about nursing informatics naman, since we're talking about nursing informatics, ano na naman kayang machine ang pag-uusapan natin? 
Okay, class, let's talk about your incentive spirometry. Do you know what is an incentive spirometer? Have you seen an incentive spirometer? Okay, wala. Okay, sige lang, class, mag stare blank pin lang kayo. Tapos pag marami po kayong budget, okay, bili po kayo nito. May dyan po yan sa mga supplies. No, I think mga less than 200 lang naman. Para class makapag-breathing exercises ka nun. Diba? Treating nyo lang. Breathing exercises. Okay? So plus you have your incentive spirometry. Plus your incentive spirometry is actually a device. It's actually an equipment which is actually used to facilitate lung expansion. Okay? Class, it is used to facilitate your lung expansion. That's your incentive spirometer. Okay? Class, again, the purpose of that is to facilitate lung expansion. Okay. Now, class, paano po nagpa-facilitate ng lung expansion? By the time, class, that the patient would inhale, the balls would rise up. By the time, class, that the patient would inhale, the balls, class, would rise up. Okay? So, kapag si patient having difficulty of breathing or kakatapos lang ng operasyon, sinasabihan si patient, sige, inhale. Okay lang kahit red ball. Pagka next day, okay, sir, dapat pati yellow ball. Nataas mo na. Okay, sir, pag the third day, dapat green ball na taas mo na. You will learn more of that in your medical surgical nursing. But let's apply it here in the concept with your nursing informatics. Plus, the data that you will have, for example, is that your patient has a breathing problem. Okay, class, your patient would have a breathing problem. Plus, since your patient has a breathing problem, your process will be to educate them okay, or to practice them na lang your process would involve practicing them on the use of your incentive spirometry, IS. And then plus, ano po yung magiging product natin? You would have your lung expansion. You would have your product as your lung expansion. Sir, saan dyan? Saan dyan, sir, si informatics pumasok? Okay? Hmm. Papapakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya when it comes already to the computers. Okay? So, plus, ano, may mga spirometer po na naa-attach na po natin sa computers. And then, plus, by the time that the patient would inhale, nakikita na po sa MAC whether it's able to reach the normal levels or not. Okay? So, that will be your output po. So, usually, itong test na to, guys, it is done among patients who is having chronic problems with the respiratory tract. Yung chronically po, my closure of the airways of the airways what do you call that condition it's a very common condition among childhood and then it prevails until adulthood what do you call that condition wherein that individual would have irritated airways pagkatapos usually nagwiwising po sila what do you call that condition sige nga oh sige faith jiza ano daw asthma sir Okay, very good. That would be your asthma. Okay, so class, if your patient has asthma, we usually do incentive spirometry testing among our patients class with asthma. Okay, and then the purpose of that is to determine class as to what level can the lung expand. Okay, so look at that. The input is, ang input po naman dito basically will be the breathing of your patient. And then class, the computer will process it. And then class, yung output po natin, nakikita po ninyo, na may data na po tayo kung ano po yung breathing pattern at saka kung ano po kalaki yung kaya ng lungs ng pasyente natin. Okay? I'm so sorry guys, I don't have the technology to teach you to do that right now. But later on, no, if you, you understand the principle behind it, you can easily practice that in the hospital setting. Okay? So yan po yung mga technologies na ginagamit natin. Now, if you would look at, for example, very common na in the clinical setting is the use of your infusion pump. Okay? In pharma, were you taught how to compute the rate of the IV fluid? Naturuan ba kayong mag-compute ng rate ng IV fluid, guys? Okay? If hindi nyo pa po alam, mag-subscribe po kayo sa YouTube ko. Char lang nag-advertise. Okay? So, class, ano pong gagawin natin? Um, wait lang. Nauubusan tayo ng papel for today's video. Hmm. Okay, ayan. Malaking papel. Class, you have your infusion pump. So, class, diba, in the past, we are taught not in the past, even at present, we are taught plus how to compute for your IV fluids. Diba? We are taught how to compute for your IV fluids. Okay? So, okay lang plus magpa-picture ka mo sa clinical area. Kung tawag mo nakatindo sa inyong mga buhok. No? If ganyan, kalinis yung uniform at saka buhok mo. Okay? Talikogenic ang dating. Ano na nga ba yun? 
Di ba, mas kadalasan sinasabi, for example, the doctor ordered plain LSS one liter times eight hours. Okay? Di ba, may mga ganong pa-exam sa pharma? Tapos, sasabihin kayo, okay, compute. Ano po yung computation? Okay? Ano nga ba yung computation? Can you recall the formula? Baka ako yung hindi nakaka-recall. Yes, Ebony? Hours. Okay. Okay. We will compute. We will compute how Four many drops. how many drops per minute. Okay, how many drops per minute yes. would be given to our patient? Okay, so again, let's try to recall. Drops One, per minute two. is equal to. So drop again, ano daw? Drop factor. So again, drop factor times volume. Volume times volume. Okay. Sige, Jodrell, pwede Divide, mo mag-unlock. Divided Dalawa by... Dalawa kayo. Magtulungan kayo. Divided by 60 minutes. Divided, divided by, by number of hours times 60 minutes. Okay. Hours times. Hours times 60 minutes, sir. Okay, galing. Galing nila. Okay, so plus volume. You have their 1,000, di ba? Pagkatapos drop factor. Halimbawa, drop factor is 15. Tapos 8 hours siya, di ba? Times 60. So mag-divide, divide ka. So apply mo yung mga principles mo dyan. Kung saan mo manalaman yung mga cancel-cancel na yan, i-apply mo. So, kung nag kayo guys, yung result po niyan, 31 to 32 drops per minute. Tama ba? Or ako lang talaga yung... Okay, tama ba? 31 to 32 drops per minute? Okay, hindi yes, na kayo marunong mag-cancel. No? So, class, okay, we do the computation. By the way, there's a shortcut to that. Okay? You would want to know the shortcut. Mag-subscribe po kayo doon sa YouTube. Okay, anyway... So plus, right now, with the use of technology, you already have your infusion pump. Yung infusion pump, ano po yung gagawin mo dyan? Simple lang guys, mag-input ka lang dyan. Input mo lang how many drops per minute. So input mo, 32 drops per minute. Pwedeng ganon. Or parang hindi ka na mag-compute ng 32 drops per minute, pwede mong input 1,000 ml yung total volume, tapos gusto mo siyang mag for 8 hours. Once plus ma-input mo na yung 1,000 ml at saka 8 hours, siya na po ang bahalang mag-regulate para po accurate yung pumupunta sa pasyente natin. Okay? Guys, pag mag-input, hindi yung touchscreen na isusulat nyo tulad ng ginawa ko. Ha? Okay? May arrows-arrows po yan, piniklik-klik po yan para po tataas po siya 1,000 tapos 8 hours. Okay? So if you are in the hospital setting, please grab the opportunity to practice this. So applying the concept of of Bertha Lanfi, this will be your input. And what will be your output? Your output class will be the flow of your fluids. Okay? Your output class will be already the flow of your fluids. Yan na po yung magiging output natin. Okay? The flow of your fluids. Okay? So, napakarami ng input, output, diba? Okay. Now, feedback. When you talk about the feedback, it's an information about some aspect of data or energy that can be used to evaluate and monitor the system to guide it to be more effective. Napakahaba ng kwento. So, plus, ano po yung ginagawa natin dyan? It is an information, evaluate and monitor the system to guide it for more effective performance. Now, Okay. Highlight, highlight na kayo. Evaluate and monitor there perhaps is the most important word. So highlight, box, tapos may magkatabing ibang color ng highlighter, i-highlight pa ulit. So class, ano po yung example ng feedback? For example, if you're using your infusion pump, may tinatawag po tayong alarm sa infusion pump natin. Okay? Meron po tayong infusion pump alarms. So ano pong ibig sabihin ng mga alarms? Okay? Yan, tignan po natin. Itong model po ng infusion pump na papakita ng alarm. Ano po yung alarm na nakalagay? Sige, copy, tsaka test. Okay, class, nakikita. Ano po yung alarm? Sinasabi, air inline detected. O, oh, di ba class, pag sa IV fluid, tinuturuan namin kayo, bawal may air sa IV fluid. Because once the air class would enter the body, there will be air in bulay. What would happen to your patient class? Your patient would? Anybody? Three letters lang po yan. If air embolism would occur to your patient class, your patient would R, I, P. Okay, class rest in peace. Diba? Class your patient would rest in peace if there will be air embolism. Nagpapalalim kayo ng isip nyo. Biro ko lang yan. Okay, class, 
it's not actually no, um uh scientifically speaking it's not uh, a very small amount of air could not do anything about it but if it's about 10 to 20 ml that's the time that it will become lethal to your patient at 10 to 20 ml of air is lethal to your patient but look at this class your your infusion pump is able to give us an alarm that there is possible presence of air that in itself students is considered to be your feedback mechanism bakit po siya naging feedback ano po purpose ng feedback evaluate and monitor the system ibig sabihin it's telling you there's something wrong in the system you as a nurse need to address it to have more effective performance okay that's how it works now for example wala po tayong pakialam muna sa cars so how many had to be recalled because of the correct errors how many mistakes were made why were the mistakes made now, kung kayo naman po later on, nasa hospital setting, huwag po kayong magtaka kung bakit po may mga investigation na ginagawa in the hospital setting. Bakit po natin ginagawa yung investigation in the hospital setting? Plus, the purpose of that is for us to determine what is the actual reason why that happened. Now, in your QA, in your quality assurance, one of the quality assurance tools that we use is what we refer to as your five whys. Ano po yung five whys? No? For example, nagkamali po kayo, you've committed a medication error. The quality assurance officer would ask you, why? Bakit ka nagkamali? So sasabihin mo na you did not understand the order. Halimbawa, you did not understand the order. Tatanungin ka na naman nun, why you did not understand the order? Sabihin mo, I was distracted by my crash. Tapos sabihin, why were you distracted by your crash? Because he looks ugly. So class, pag magkaganon, wala nang magagawa ang quality assurance officer sa ugly. So magsta-stop na yan. Pero class, the quality assurance officer will remind you that you are not supposed to get distracted during your work. Okay? So hindi pa nga yan five whys. Eh. So magtatanong pa yan. What? Why did you not understand? So, sasabihin mo naman, the penmanship of the doctor is not clear. Why is the penmanship of the doctor not clear? Because the doctor is in the hurry. And then, class, your quality assurance officer would try to find means to address the problems that happen there. We are not actually blaming you because you have committed a medication error. But we are actually finding reasons kung bakit nagka medication error para later on in the future ma-prevent po natin. That is also the purpose of your feedback in a certain type of systems. Okay? So class in your computers later on malalaman, Uy, ito si Marniel, hindi niya naman duty for today's video pero nakalagin yung account niya. Bakit? Is Marniel allowed to share her username and password to others? Pwede ba? Pwede ko bang i-share ang username and password ko sa iba if I'm talking about the health information systems? Pwede or hindi? Hindi. Okay? Hindi. Okay? So, class, your health information systems is just like Facebook. no? It's just like Facebook. You have your own Facebook account. You log in by the time that you enter the room class or you enter your station. And then everything that you will be doing there will be documented. So, halimbawa, magkasabay kami, for example, ng duty ni Hana. Our duty, for example, is 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. At the class, the system gave a feedback that Hana was able to log in by 3 p.m. this afternoon. Ibig sabihin, somebody is using her account. That is also a feedback. Okay, that is also an example of a feedback. Now, kung baga, class, when we talk about feedback, anything that is used for evaluation, tama ba yung ginawa mo? Na-reach ba natin yung dapat na products na dapat natin ibenta? Kung baga pa class, kung kayo'y nagtiyatiyangge, kay sasabihin ng lola mo, oy, nakaisang libo ka na ba dyan sa tiyanggin natin? O sige, pwede ka nang matulog kasi nakaisang libo na. Okay, feedback. Now, subsystem. When you talk about subsystem class, it is also a system that is part of a larger system. Just like your example earlier, you pointed out circulatory system, nervous system. By itself, class, circulatory system is a system. Nervous system is a system. And then, class, when you talk about a static system, no, wag yun lang i-memorize, Englishing lang yan, class. Static, there's not much change. Dynamic, class, the system is constantly changing. Right? And that change, class, is actually 
It's changing the environment is also changed by the environment. So it's either class me as a person will change the environment or the environment will also change me. Okay? So when you are dealing with our patients, constantly po yan nag-change. Kung sa nursing informatics naman class, hindi pwede na yung system natin last 2005 will be the same system that I will be using until 2015. Dapat po tayo ay mag-upgrade. Okay? So that's it class for the overview muna of your systems theory by Bertalanti. We will be having the future discussions later on.